And this is something that clinically was thought to be a skin cancer. It was a red, irritated, painful lesion with a, a ulcer and, and crust on the surface. And see that thick layer of purpley pink stuff? That's what scab looks like microscopically. It's called scale crust. It's a mixture of parakeratosis and serum and neutrophils and probably some bacteria too. So this lesion doesn't actually have anything here that looks like squamous cell carcinoma. So clinically it was worrisome. But when we look microscopically, what we see is there's a big ulcer of the epidermis. So we have to wonder why is the ulcer there? Well, it's hard to say at first glance. The clue is down here in the dermis. There, there is an ulcer and there's all that, the, the scale crust, like I said, there's serum, the pink stuff. The little dark things are degenerated uh, neutrophils. These little purple blobs here are actually cocci bacteria, probably um, staph um, organisms that are uh, staphylococcus that normally grow on the skin as flora are just kind of colonizing this lesion. We often see that in the surface of ulcers in the skin. But the key is in the dermis. In the dermis, we have really dense lymphocytes around the superficial vessels and also even around the deeper vessels. And not only do we have lymphocytes, but we also have lots and lots of these bright orange little guys with orange granules. These are eosinophils. So there are tons of eosinophils in here. We have a bunch of lymphocytes and then bunches of eosinophils. And the eosinophils aren't just up at the top, but they go deep down into the dermis. Oh, sorry. They go deep down into the dermis. They gotta go out away from the vessels in between the collagen. Let's look at the other piece. Even away from the ulcer, we see the same thing eosinophils. So this is actually probably an exuberant bug bite, a bug bite that, the, that got really inflamed and the patient scratched and itched at, and then it ulcerated and then it got bacterially infected or impetigenized and it made it look even worse. And so when they came to the doctor, you know, they might not even remember that they got bit by a bug or even known it. All they know is they had this itchy, painful lesion and they kept picking at it and then it kept getting worse. And so they came in and the dermatologist said, let's make sure it's not a skin cancer and biopsied it. And we see that often that a, a, a bug bite that's really exuberant exuberant uh, can look a lot like a skin cancer clinically. So uh, usually what I call these is um, arthropod bite reaction. Some people like to say arthropod assault reaction because that covers both bites and stings. Um, I think that's kind of a fun way to say it, but I usually just say arthropod bite reaction. And um, it's, a, it's a good thing to know about because we see a lot of them in my part of the country. We have lots of uh, insects here and a lot of times people get bug bites and people that can particularly get really inflamed exuberant bug bites are young kids around the age of two their immune system is kind of still developing and learning to react to different things and sometimes they get really big really inflamed bug bites and also in older individuals with a chronic lymphocytic leukemia CLL for some reason because their immune system is altered they also tend to get really exuberant bug bites so that's an important thing to think about in a patient with a really inflamed persistent bug bite is those those are the possible scenarios so a lesion like this that has edema, kind of a pale areas in the sur a superficial dermis, lots of dense lymphocytes around the superficial vessels and the deeper vessels, and then a lot of eosinophils trickling throughout the dermis, particularly down deep. Always think about an arthropod bite reaction. Um, it's a common thing that we see biopsied.